people. And what people don't seem to understand about Donald Trump is that he's not pursuing protectionism. What he's doing is he's using tariffs in order to promote what is really a radical free trade agenda. Uh, it got very little reported, but Maria Bartiromo had a great interview with Trump after, after the G7 summit, and he told her on this network, and nobody paid attention to it, that he laid a proposal on the table in front of the G7. He said, let's get rid of all tariffs. Let's remove all tariffs, all non-tariff barriers, all subsidies, and have complete, total free trade between our countries. And they all turned him down. Well, actually, Juan, what he's doing is, is while everybody else is playing checkers, he's playing three-dimensional chess. Okay. So, so, so here's how it works, okay? So China, in, in our trade, we're, we're, we're trying to put tariffs on China. China responded by attacking Trump voters, by going after soybean producers. Mm -hmm. Most soybeans in America are purchased by China, and they're produced in swing states that Donald Trump won and needs to win. So they're going after Trump voters. He just cut a deal with the EU in which he got the EU to agree to immediate purchase of soybeans. So he's using the European Union, his pressure on the European Union and trade, to get them to help American farmers to counteract Chinese retaliatory tariffs. That's three-dimensional chess. He's used, what he has figured out is that these, you're not going to get these people to drop barriers to American exports through the WTO. The only way you're going to get to do it is by putting tariffs on them and threatening tariffs against them, and then they'll drop their barriers. Well, if the, and the market's any measure, the European Union.